This tutorial is discussing evolution. Evolution is a theory that explains the diversity and unity of life. The theory of evolution suggests how all living things descended from a common ancestor and the common descent with modification. An evolutionary tree is like a family tree an evolutionary tree traces the ancestry, ancestry of life on earth to a common ancestor. So we have a common ancestor here with the first cells. This is where it first starts to break apart. And then as time goes on, it becomes more and more complex. The eukarya has the first cells with the nucleus. And then this is then broken down further. You'll notice that as time goes on, from past to present, it breaks off further and further down. Taxonomy is the branch of biology that identifies, names, and classifies organisms. Systematics is the study of evolutionary relationships between the organisms. Classification categories, from the least inclusive category of species to the most inclusive category domains are species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, and domain. Remember domain is the m most encompassing while species is the most specific. Each successive category above, spe above species includes more types of organisms than the preceding one. So here for humans it can be broken down into those different categories, species being the most specific, and then genius, then family and order, and so on and so forth. So there are three domains. Domain archaea, which contains unicellular pro prokaryotes that live in extreme environments. Prokaryotes lack a membrane-bound nucleus. Then we have the domain bacteria, which contains unicellular prokaryotes as well that live in all environments. Notice the difference between all environments and extreme environments. And then domain eukarya, which contains unicellular and multicellular eukaryotes. Eukaryotes contain, once again, an, a true membrane-bound nucleus. So let's look at those three domains a little closer. Domain eukarya, prokaryotes, prokaryotic cells of various shapes. They have adaptations to extreme environments, such as those that may have existed when the world was formed. Absorb or chemosynthesize food, and a unique chemical. And they have unique chemical characteristics. Domain bacteria are also prokaryotic cells of various shapes, and they have adapted to all environments. They absorb, photosynthesize, or chemosynthesize food. They have unique chemical characteristics as well. And then we have domain eukarya, which is then broken down into four kingdoms. The protus, kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae, and Kindus and Melia. Archaea and Bracteria have kingdoms that are undetermined at this point. Eukarya have Protus, which breaks down even further, Fungi, Plantae, and Amelia. Scientific names are universal, Latin base, and binomial nomenclature. Binomial means it has a two-part name. The first word is the genus and is always capitalized, while the second word is the species designation or the specific epithet. epithet. And that's written in lowercase. Both words are italicized. For example, homo sapiens for humans and zeomys for corn. Natural, natural selection is the evolutionary mechanism proposed by Charles Darwin. 
Some aspect of the environment selects which traits that are more apt to be passed on to the next generation. Individuals with favorable traits produce the greater number of offspring that survive and reproduce. Increases, this increases the frequency of those traits, being traits in population. Mutations fuel the natural selection process. They introduce variations among members of a population. For instance, some plants with the population exhibit variation in the leaf structure. As the deer eats the leaves, they tend to avoid the ones with the hairy leaves. Deer prefer diet of smooth leaves over the hairy leaves. The plants with the hairy leaves reproduce more than those with the smooth surrounding. As a result, the ones with the hairy leaves reproduce more and more and they're more evident in the population. Generations later, most plants with the population have hairy leaves as the smooth leaves are selected against.